Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, January 1st, 2023. Happy New Year everyone! This puzzle has a title, it's called In Play. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have some circles only in the top half of the grid here. That is very unusual. Alright, one across. Image on the flag of Oakland, California, appropriately. Um, is it an oak tree? Is it oaks, maybe? It has to be four letters long. Let's see if it's oaks here. Banks on TV. Okay, that's got to be Tyra Banks. So maybe this is just tree here. Lively dance. Hmm. Is it a rave? I don't know about that. Achings. That could be yens. Those are yearnings. So this is not a rave. Hmm. Attentive. Is that a wear? This is looking very, very strange. Moon of Saturn found to have a potentially habitable ocean. I don't know if I've heard of this. It starts with E-N. Hmm. Component of some hormone therapy. It seems like this has to be estrogen. Okay. Off-road option for short. It seems like this has to be a ute or an ATV. Either way, this should be a T. So maybe this is not aware. This could be alert instead. Hmm. A lively dance. I wonder if we're running into some theme weirdness. Hmm. Interesting. I'm still not sure what this should be. Let's take a look at this first long across here. Stick of butter geometrically. Um, well, it's kind of a rectangle. It seems like that would fit. Is it rectangular something? I don't know how it would end. Hmm. National Blood Donor Month. Ooh, um, does any month end in N? I don't think it does. Let's take this out. I guess this could be an ATV. Country whose capital is an anagram of its former capital. Well, that's an interesting bit of trivia. I have no idea what this is, though. Big initials in insurance. Is it AIG? That's an insurance company. Basic Mediterranean sauce. I wonder if it's an aioli. Hmm. It seems like that could be. I guess this could be January. Hmm. Genetic variant. Okay, that's an allele. That's a variant of a gene. Singer Horan of the boy band One Direction. Oh no. I don't know any of the people in One Direction. Hmm. Maybe this is Japan. Wait a minute. Tokyo. That's an anagram of Kyoto. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay. Japan. And then this does have to be January, I think. So I guess there was a month that ended in N after all. Okay. Um, it has to be a rectangle something. Work enthusiastically and energetically. Hmm. P-O-E? Maybe it is rectangular. This could be a U. Um. Hmm. Maybe it starts with pour? Like pour your heart out? Change of scenery in real estate lingo. That's going to be a relo. A relocation. Oh my god, um, is it like, Nial? I guess maybe. Spoil could be rot. Subtle flavor to a wine taster. That is a note. That's a little bit of wine jargon. Let's see if we can build off of that. Require. Hmm. I'm not sure. 
holy moly, an equivalent phrase. I guess it could be something like yowza. Is this a W? What a V sign might indicate. Uh, it could be peace. What else could it be? Hmm. I don't know about a W here. It seems like this could be horrid on. Yeah. What is our next theme answer here? Seminal 1980 hit by Joy Division. I know this one. This is Love Will Tear Us Apart. Nice, okay. So what do we have in these circles here? E-R-U-P-T, erupt. Okay, and then we have R-E-C-L-A. Hmm, is it reclaim? I have no idea how this is gonna end. Part of a woodpecker's diet. Hmm, it's not a grub? Sends 10 texts in a row to. That's gotta be spams. Hmm, is it sap? Do they eat sap? That's very interesting. Okay, so this is just a slash. Maybe it's per, like in a price. Rectangular what? A rectangular prism? Perfume line by pop star Grande. I gotta imagine that's Ari, her nickname. Beauty pageant since 1952. Is that Miss USA? It does look like it's gonna be a prism, and that does give us reclaim. Reclaim erupt. Hmm, that's very interesting. Eagle's home, that is an airy. Precursors to finals, those are semis. We just had that on yesterday's puzzle. Less involved. Is that simpler? That looks pretty good. Blank Pro tech product. That's gotta be a Mac Pro. Barbecue discard, could that be a cob from an ear of corn? Mideast city with an eponymous pepper. Mideast city. Is it Aleppo? I've never heard of that pepper before. Stage partitions. And this is wordplay, so it's not gonna be about physical partitions on a stage. I think it's gonna be partitions in the story that's being performed on the stage. That'll be acts. Very tricky. Pork cut, well, I'm not gonna know that. Sesame Street resident who refers to himself in the third person. That is definitely Elmo. Let's see if we can get these downs. Share a byline, maybe. Hmm. Um, I guess this is collaborate, right? Okay. Part of a stove is a timer. And that is so funny. And this is a bracket clue, so we need some kind of nonverbal way to communicate. That is so funny. That's gotta be a snort. Okay, let's come back over to this side here. Um, is it Enceladus? I think I've heard of that. I'm not sure how to spell it. Is it like that? Let's see. Attire for some queens. Are we talking about drag queens? White House staffer, that's gotta be an aide. Title for food writer Mary Berry. I'm gonna go ahead and guess she's a dame. Hilarious sort. You're a riot. Okay, what's our next theme answer? Colorado, Idaho, and Wyoming, among others. Are they mountain states? That fits very nicely. And what does that give us? M-A-T-E-S. Mates. Okay, reclaim, erupt, mates. I have no idea what these all have in common. Our theme title is In Play. Does it have something to do with games? I mean, there's checkmates in chess. Hmm, I don't know about the other two though. Require. Hmm, what is this again? Holy moly. It's not wowza. 
We were kind of close, though. What a V sign might indicate. Hmm. Group of gift givers. Is this the Magi? It's pretty seasonally appropriate. Hurry quaintly. That's gotta be high. That's a very quaint word. Is it wowie? So this is gonna indicate two. It's two fingers. And this will be in tail. Blank Aviv is Tel Aviv. Soccer star Blank Heath. I definitely don't know this person. An empty set exists, e.g. That sounds like a math axiom. Yeah, let's try that. Quick and nimble. Is it agile or adept? Let's try agile. Let's see if we can build off of that. Discreet music musician Brian. Okay, that's Brian Eno. Nickname that's an anagram of online. Um, it looks like this anagram's into Lonnie. That's the only thing I can see here. Perception. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one. Noble gas used in some lasers. It looks like this has to be xenon. All good, an equivalent phrase. It's no biggie. Nice, okay. We're still not gonna get this one. Ooh, is this a revealer? Or maybe it's just related to this first theme answer. Maybe we're gonna find out what reclaim means. Recommit to one's fitness, or what 23 across depicts literally. Hmm. Okay, so maybe these are all New Year's resolutions. That would be a very appropriate theme for January 1st. Um, maybe it's get back in shape? Um, get back in shape. Okay, so reclaim means get back, and it's in a kind of shape. Wow, that is super tricky. Okay, so I wonder if the rest of our theme answers are gonna be punny New Year's resolutions like that one. Let's see what this next one is. What characters in musicals often do, or what 31 Across depicts literally. Okay, so they're not all New Year's resolutions, but what is this? This is erupt. Um, shouldn't this be burst into song? Yeah. Um, hmm. Burst into song. That doesn't quite fit, does it? Um, I mean, this is a song. Interesting. Uh, is it not burst? I don't know how it's gonna begin. What is this? Blank mitzvah. Jewish ceremony for multiple people. Um, is it bars mitzvah? Did they pluralize it like that? I'm not sure. Flatten, say. Uh, I guess it's not iron. Or maybe it is. Maybe it doesn't start with first hmm a pop shouldn't that be each yeah so maybe it's break into song instead of burst into song oh that doesn't fit either oh man recover that should be heal region encompassing most of the arkansas missouri border that should be the ozarks Wait, is it breaks into song? No, it's not. It has to be break. This is so odd. Is it not into? Copy in brief. That should be a repro for reproduction. Oh, is it break out in song? Oh my god, okay. There we go. That finally makes sense. Let's see if we can get this little section here. Perception. Maybe that's insight. Ooh, that was hard to see. And this is Tobin Heath. Yeah, I've never heard of them. Stem subject that rhymes with stem. 
That'll be chem. Okay. B way purchase. That'll be ticket, very informally. Enthusiastic, affirmative. Do I? <laughs> That's very excited. Stole. That should be tug. Cuddle amorously in a way. Maybe that spoon. A matter of course. And this is wordplay, so this is not a standard practice. I wonder if this is going to be about a golf course. This could be par. That would be a matter of course. Library section. That's going to be the stacks. Imperfection metaphorically. That's got to be a wart. Try to hit as a pinata. I want this to be swats at. Oh, no, that's not the right part of speech. Maybe it's swing at. There we go. Button added to Twitter in 2022. They did add the edit button. Primo could be A1. Government agency rules. Those will be regs. So this is does for accomplishes. Okay. Hit 1998 Eddie Murphy comedy based on books by Hugh Lofting. Um, what is this? It starts with Doctor? Uh, why am I blanking on this? I'm sure I've heard of this. Let's see if we can get the first letter or two. It lacks value. That'll be zero, QED. Rap mogul familiarly. That's got to be Dr. Dre. Rocks Blank Fighters. The Foo Fighters. Oh, so is this Dr. Doolittle? I think that is right. Let's see if this works here. Labor. That's got to be Toil. And then Lap Maybe. Um, is this a lap around a track? Hmm. I wonder works in a gallery. Well, if works is a plural noun, this could be fine art. Okay. Make certain knitting stitches. This has to be pearls. Before in Spanish. Hmm. I don't know if I know this one. Blanca Laca, Florida? Is it Opalaca? I want to say maybe I've heard of that before. Lap. Okay, this could be outrun. It is on a track. Um, hmm. Try one more time. So this is wordplay. I think they're talking about try as a prefix. So one more as a prefix would be tetra, right? For four. Leafy salad green. That could be cress. Is that right? Antis? Ooh. Um, I think it has to be. This is like watercress. Is that right? Magical creature associated with rainbows. That's got to be a unicorn. State south of Mumbai. That is India's smallest state. Goa. Okay. Blank pig. Hmm. What kind of pig are they talking about here? South in much of South America. Is this the Spanish word for south? Would that be sur? Oh, is it a guinea pig? Okay. By time, that's gotta be stall. Photographer golden, that is nan golden. Having an intact tamper seal, say. Okay, so maybe this is untainted? Oh, that doesn't fit, does it? Hmm, what is this? It's just under a foot. Is that the sole of your shoe? So maybe this is unopened instead. There we go. Holy place. Hmm, there's a lot of holy places. It's not a church. Hmm, mocking smile. Is that a sneer? Swamp plant. Hmm. It's not a reed. Cribbage marker. I think you keep track of the score with a peg in cribbage. Anger. Ire. 
So what is this? A sedge? Yeah, that's tricky. Say, dot, 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 say, say. <laughs> wow, this is quite a clue. Um, hmm. What would you be doing when you do that? This is kind of like a specific sort of crossword format. Hmm. You're giving an example of something. Uh, hmm. What is that going to be? That's very tricky. Holy place. Hmm. Cars with clutches. That's going to be manuals, right? Ooh. Um, so this is not bars. Okay. This is manual transmission cars. Uh, is it benai? Benai mitzvah? Flatten, say. Hmm. It's not route? Like beating someone soundly in a sport? Hmm. Secular. That's going to be laic. You're not part of the clergy. Hmm. Maybe it's ruin. Yeah, maybe. Loser to Herbert Hoover in 1928. Oh man, uh, I don't know if I know who he ran against. It's Al? Hmm, I'm not sure. Big shots, they are not. Big shots. Hmm, are we talking about medical shots or alcohol shots? Or people that are big shots? I'm not sure. Beseech. It's not beg. Hmm. Food that's easy to get hooked on. And this is wordplay, so it's not about food that you can get easily addicted to. Hmm. Old video game console initials. Is that an SNES? That was my favorite video game console. Goofs. Hmm. So this is maybe about making a mistake or maybe about people that are goofing off. Hmm. Aired anew. Is that re-ran? Goofs. Oh man, what is this? Is it flubs? That would be mistakes. Yeah. And this is urge. There we go. What an economy seat is usually short on. I think we all know this. This is a leg room. Yeah. Okay. Parts of some military uniforms. Hmm. Uh, is it berets? That would fit. Big shots they are not. Oh, it's talking about ammunition. These are little BBs. Blank caps. Candy. Those are snow caps. Let's see what our next theme answer here is. Useful people to know, or what 50 across depicts literally. It looks like it's going to start with friends, right? We have mates, so yeah, that sounds really good. And then we have mountain states. So this will be friends in high places. That's a really good one. You know what, why don't we take a look at this last one and see if we can get it without a lot of crossing help. Screen feature that facilitates multitasking or what 61 across depicts literally. Okay, so we have a doodle. A doodle? Hmm. Screen feature. Is it picture in picture? Because Dr. Doolittle is a movie or a picture. So a doodle in Dr. Doolittle would be a picture in picture. That's really funny. Nice. Okay, so that's all of our theme answers. Uses performance enhancing drugs. That'll be dopes. Um, is it Al Smith? That sounds vaguely familiar. Home of more than one MLB team. Well, there's not very many cities with more than one team, but I do know Chicago has two. Whole lot. That could be a ton. What do we have on these acrosses? group character, that's got to be ethos, and then bring it to play, maybe that's use, and excel is shine, yeah, Egypt neighbor abbreviated, it's looking like this is going to be Israel, um, 
So is this going to be guess? I guess if you said something like, it could be this, say, you're kind of taking a guess. Yeah. And then holy place. That'll be a shrine. So this is sure for, oh, why not? Yeah, that seems okay. And agency that advises against eating raw cookie dough. That'll be the CDC. Kuwaiti currency. Is that a dinar? Let's see if that's right. Blank man, frequent subject in the onion. Is that area man? He's always getting into trouble. Monopoly payment. That's got to be rent. The garden in Bosch's The Garden of Earthly Delights. That's got to be the Garden of Eden. Okay. Lamb for one. I don't know if I'm going to like this one. One might move fast in stores. Maybe that's a sale item? Yeah. What is this long down here? Barely sits still. And this is wordplay, so this can't be about fidgeting a lot. I wonder if you're sitting still while bare, while you're nude. Yeah, maybe this is poses nude. That's very clever. Light touch, maybe that's a pat? Prosecco cousin. That's a kind of sparkling wine. And I think Asti is also. Explorer Erickson. That's gotta be Leaf Erickson, so this'll be anti, no pro, so you're against something, you're an anti, and this'll be TGIF, an equivalent phrase for weekend, here I come. Excellent, all right, let's throw this F in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 47 minutes. That's a decent time for a Sunday. So our theme today was in play. Yeah, we kind of had two separate sets of theme answers. The first were kind of the setup, and the second four theme answers referred back to the first four. The last four theme answers are all everyday phrases that have the word in in them, and they're kind of literally describing one of the first four theme answers. So get back in shape describes reclaim in rectangular prism, break out in song, describes erupt in the song Love Will Tear Us Apart. Yeah, this was a really fun theme. Once we finally got what was happening, I had a lot of fun trying to figure out these kind of revealer theme answers. All right, well, I'm glad you decided to collaborate with me on this Sunday Solve. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.